fucked up, but I turn fast. Good shot. Good pass. Good no shot. I tried, I tried it. We see, we, we, yeah, we know. <laughs> we know. Yo. Are you getting on sports? Big man coming through. He low key giving it, giving me the shot, but I'm gonna take the two. Patient, 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 trust. It's so hard to control this fucker, man. What you gotta do to control your player this year, man? I'm going under. Alright, what you gotta do? Good D. Good switch. Damn, he ain't going out of bounds. Give me a oop. What you gotta do to control your player this year? I don't know how I'm missing all these shots. Good D. Green. Definitely not a fader. Slayheem in the building. What's good, man? I know you ain't playing this 2K. I know you ain't playing this 2K. Blame him 2024 or 2025. <laughs> that should be two points. Man, he got a dunk, bro. Good shot. I was shot there. I'm finna shoot it. The rebound. It's still. Man, oh, you got it. Free bucket. He said, Yeah, I'm playing this dumb bass game. <laughs> got two bills. <laughs> Man, they getting us, bro. Rebound. Giving it to me. A rebound. Good pass. Good shot. Great shot. Great pass. Nice. He said I fall for it every year. Bro, this is what I'm saying. Like, this is a bad and a good game. More so. I like I like the game, but man, it's some stupid shit in here. Bye -bye. I like it though, but it's a bad it's a bad game though, man. Like I just gotta be honest, it's it's not a it's not a good game, bro. Defense is stupid, bro. The movement on defense and offense is horrible. It's not just offense, it's defense as well. Got him. Yeah, the game has so much potential, bro. But can they fix that? I don't know. I don't know if they can fix it or not. You know how 2K is about fixing stuff. No way he just sold the team like that. After they playing so good. That's horrible, bro. They was actually competing. See, you got stupid people like that, man, that fuck shit up. I made a 97 perimeter. Oh, that's two points. Mm. Once that speed with ball start going up, boy, uh, you start seeing some moves.
under. I meet you. He said, but it's dog shit right now. <laughs> Facts. Definitely dog shit. Especially the moons. They can be wide open for a dunk, doing some other shit. Rebound, he gave him to me. Wow. How about this one? Mm. Assist game, he said you fell out, bro. Where you been? Man, I've been working, man. Get shot. Damn. My bad. Late pass. I've been working, man. Trying to get them badges up. RL. Good. Ooh. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. That's tough. Where you work? Um, I do security. I gotta go in early tonight. VIP. Gotta go in at 8 30 tonight. Normally I go in at 10. VIP the status tonight though. Mm, 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 mm. It's cool though, man. I got, bro, the, the like, dog, the, the dude that owns this the club that I work at now. It's 33 years old. It's it's so much better that I'm noticing. I like working for people my age, bro. Well, this is my first time ever doing it, but I don't know is it because like he he he's so chill and humble, bro. You know, he only he one year older than me, but the dude is very chill, man. He like. He don't act like he the owner, which is surprising at times. But um, I definitely had to correct them a couple times. Now we have an understanding. Some of these people, bro, if you don't never have that man-to-man -man conversation, they'll treat you any kind of way, man. But after we had that conversation, bro, even before we had the conversation, the conversation was really for his wife. That's um, you know how them wives be. After we had that conversation, bro, like even before then, like he just chill, man. I know what I'm supposed to do, and I do it. I was gonna work two jobs at security. I got these other people been blowing me up. Um, I used to I used to do security for the Java restaurant. That's like number one, number two restaurant in Miami, Florida, South Beach. High end restaurant. Uh, I used to do security for them. They've been blowing me up, but I don't, I don't really rock with them like that. They be doing too much. I don't like, I don't like dealing with people that you want us to enforce rules. I understand certain people with certain status. You don't, you don't give them rules. And that's another thing about this 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 world of people with all this money. It's so hard to do security for these type of people, dog, because they inf they have rules, but you can't enforce the rules on this billionaire. Like um, at the Aqualinas, at the space of Aqualina, they have this policy they don't want dogs on the lawn. How the fuck you gonna tell a dude that pay? A million dollars a month rent or whatever y'all got set up you gonna tell this man he can't have his dog on the lawn and you want me to go tell him man get out my face okay I'm gonna tell him he can't have his dog out here now why is you telling him he can't have his dog out here man y'all not finna put me in no situation have me looking stupid and you already know how it go when you got that money yeah, there's some humble peoples in the world, but there's some people that say, hey, treat me like my money. Treat me 
the way my bank account is. Don't don't treat me and nah. all. But it, I ain't saying everybody like that because it's a lot of nice people, man. It's a lot of people that are highly successful in this world. They got a lot of money and they cool, but some of these people, dog, they want you to treat them like how you see on TV. Wait on them hands and foot. So, I used to do security at the um, Estates of Aquilina, but I started rocking with them because they they was they they didn't have their shit in order, man. And I didn't I didn't like how they had it set up. So I've been rocking with these uh, Latinos, bruh. When I say, man, it's been amazing. Been amazing, dog. I was rocking with some of our peoples, aka my brothers. <laughs> Them niggas right there. They be trying to shortchange on that money. So I had to cut them loose. Everybody wants your service, boy. But everybody ain't gonna do right by you. So I've been with these Latinos for about eight months, bro. Been them beloved. Them beloved. And I done had a lot of opportunity to lead them. But I ain't left them yet. I'm like that. Get my shit back. Wrong where I come. Pass. Green. But man, I like I like what I do. I, I and you know what? That's that's what another thing I realized. Like, bro, if I would have knew, like, see, I'm learning so much now. People think you should quit your job, bro. The job is the source. Let's just say you're an entrepreneur and you create a, some type of business, bro. Your job is the source. To your free money now you got money to do other things with outside of your entrepreneur business or whatever you got going on if i would have knew like okay go work a little part-time job for the benefits that just say health insurance or some type of benefit they giving you if i would have knew that when i was on top of my game with twitch oh man but like i said a lot of this stuff you know you got to learn as you go because nobody teaching all this stuff and you can't get upset that people not teaching it you just got to keep going because at first i was like i said i was mad that a lot of this stuff i'm learning now like damn my daddy didn't know none of this shit god damn <coughs> fuck the teamwork but it's all right though man you can't get mad at what people don't know now that I'm learning, <clears throat> I'm going to keep my job, <clears throat> and I'm still going to try to get on this Twitch shit. Because I really don't work for three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sometimes I do Sunday, like this VIP week all week, so I got I'm, I got to work Sunday this week. Rebound, he giving it to me. Man, I let that go early. Man, you wanna run that whole shit shot? He said we can we stay uh, right? That's what I'm saying, like, but see, I thought, man, once you get to uh, your bid, you don't work no fucking job. That's what I thought. I'm learning now. Man, it's some people out here, multi, multi billionaire, still got a job. <coughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <coughs> you going to work? Niggas, niggas are super rich still getting up in the morning going to work. Like, what the fuck? What are you going to work for? Go, go, I thought you done working. <coughs> yeah, but nigga said he got clock in just like me. He want to keep his millions. So, okay, you right. But a lot of these people be getting these jobs so they can get them benefits. So they don't have to pay for them benefits out of their pocket. <clears throat> so they go get a job to um, counter paying for health care. Health care expensive as fuck. 
especially when you're in a different tax bracket, health care for the entire family. Man, one dude said he's spending at least. Now, let me say this right. I don't want to lie. What he said. How many did he say he's spending? I think he he said he's spending it close to four thousand a month, if I ain't mistaken, for his family for health care, for all they can, for they dental, health insurance, all that shit. I think he said they spending like four thousand a month for the entire family. If it's not four thousand, it's somewhere close to that. I said, what the fuck? But it's people spending more than that, bro. And so a lot of people get them jobs so that they don't, they can hide in that, you know. I ain't gonna say hide in it. I'm just saying it's people are smart. Just like I didn't know people donate. You know why people donate, bro? Cause she give you a tax break. I didn't know that. So let's just say you go get a million dollar, bro, and you donate fifty thousand. You now get a tax break from the government, bro. And I'm just saying fifty thousand for an example. This like this is that's the same thing with like big cars like G wagons and Rolls Royces. Yeah. So tax cuts. Right. These people go buy a whole fucking airplane just to have it so that they can shield up on the tax bracket. And I, and I, that's what I said, man. Like the game that the game that we don't know they don't teach us in school. It really disrespectful, bro. It really disrespectful. And for like the jet or the cars that you buy, if you don't have to pay that much in taxes, it rolls over to the next year. Man, look at that. You see what I'm saying? Now, another thing, like the 401k and all that, the Roth RA and shit like that. You know, I heard about that shit. Oh, put your money in there. They going to give you, they might give you a dollar. They will match you. Man, come on, bro. I heard about it. I ain't finna put my money in no 401 and no Roth IA and all that shit. You tell me you don't get matched me. Now I'm sitting here like, what the fuck? I could have put 70. Right now it's 7,000. Ain't no 6,500. I think it's 7,000 for the Roth. But you telling me I could have put my little 7,000 in there and y'all would have gave me another 7,000? Growing up, I heard this shit, but like, who thinking, of, man, you ain't finna put my money over there. Now I'm sitting here like, oh shit, that's free money. All I gotta do is put up whatever the limit is for the year, and y'all gonna match it? Oh man, I'm tripping. But like I said, man, when you young and you don't really understand this stuff, bro, you miss out on so much. And I'm not just saying money. We're not just talking about money. We just talking about in general understanding how the world works. Cause the world don't work work the way school taught us. We don't get to stop learning because we graduated. Cause that's the wrong thing to do. He said Tesla is a tax break. Don't forget my job, don't know I got money. Yeah, I shouldn't have shot that, but it wasn't a bad shot, but it wasn't a good shot. Good shot. Good pass. Good teamwork. But like I said, though, man, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at now. I'm learning a lot. Keep my job because I was gonna, I was gonna quit. He said, "That's why they call benefits." Exactly. See, you right though, Sport. That's all. That's late. Oh, I just, you know, Sport. When you poor, and somebody telling you put some money up. Or put money over here. How that sound to you? If I'm living off three hundred dollars a month, and you want me to go put up, talking about, well, you put up seven thousand, and we gonna match seven thousand. Man, all that sound like jibber jabber. And that's the thing, like, you know, when you don't, when you poor, the restrictions are so high on where you putting your money. Even though we spend most of our money on shoes, clothes, and chips, it still sounds crazy to say, okay, I'm gonna put my money over here so I can get these benefits. Now it makes sense, but you know, and, and man, I also learned 
Ooh, GG. I also understand now that money is really powerful. And the reason a lot of people are suffering is only because they don't have money. Now, I do know this now, just because you got money don't mean you're gonna do right by money. Because guess what? I had a lot of money growing up, but I didn't do none of the shit that I know now. Why? And another dude taught me this. Just because I teach you about this, don't mean you're gonna apply it. So many people know this stuff about money and still don't apply it. You know, know the benefits and stuff. And I was like, cause I was like, bro, we need to teach the world this. And he was like, he just looked at me. He was like, hmm, that's what you think? He was like, school is damn near free. Nobody stopping people from learning about this stuff. And I was like, but it ain't like we need to take it to the to the poor communities like that don't know. We need to get it out there. It, like it's already out there. That's because that's because you tell somebody to stop cutting back door until they see the benefits. Like just because I tell people, yo, um, stop moving, don't move, don't move, don't move until they see the benefits in their own life or with it. Uh, how efficient we can be if you stop moving around that's when they gonna change so I, I'm thinking like man we could teach the world and the world will be better and that teaching people don't mean people gonna change it's just like being motivated I can motivate you today but motivation goes away you know oh my goodness See how KJ got me ripped right there? I'm sitting here talking about the benefits of not moving That's and K do the opposite. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> GG. Good shot. I'm a fake. Top wide open. I'm a this oh my goodness. He said, oh, I agree. I've been working since I was 17. I would have so much money if I had listened when I was young, but it was tough when you're young. We need those type of real world lessons in school instead of Art. Yo, facts. That's facts, bro. Well, see, that's that's why I said the game is so the game is so amazing because it's really not rigged. At first, I used to think the game was rigged up, and let me. <clears throat> it's just like somebody said. We thought Wall Street was for white people. We thought, and see, that's what that's what a lot of people think. People think. Money has a color. Oh, he a millionaire. Where race is he? But it's really just applying the information you've been taught. Anybody can go on Wall Street. You can be a fucking five-year-old kid and be a part of Wall Street. But now I ain't saying that five-year five-year-old kid gonna have the knowledge to understand how to maneuver. But bro, you can have your kids a part of the stock market. But see, we be thinking. Oh man, it's levels in this race. Oh, you know, you gotta have a certain skin complexion to be a part of these games. Man, boy, what's our own? But like I said, you know, when you raised up on that victim mentality and you think everything is rigged up, cause I'm a conspiracy theory. So when you believe everything is a conspiracy and everything is a scheme and, and, and rigged, then you, you live life through those eyes of man, it, it, it's, it's not set up right. Bet, all right. Well, you got a long little drive. Two hours ain't bad, but boy, you don't, you don't need a nap. <laughs> you might need you a nap. But man, like I said, I'm, I'm happy. He hell nah. That slight, man, okay, okay. <laughs> Two hours slight. That's why I said, man, like the the the, the stuff that I be wanting to express to the two K community, because like sport, think about it, man. Think about it. Like I know a little bit about you know sport being being around you for years, 
you a you a grade A businessman, and that's how I rate you, right? You very successful. Look how much time you put in 2K. I right, and I look at how much time the person that ain't where you at put into 2K. You see what I'm saying? We don't think like that, and that's what I be trying to get the 2K community to get to that level. Like, you want to get to where sport at? Look how much time sport put into the game, and look at how much time you put into the game. And I ain't saying get to where he at in the money status, but I'm just saying, ain't you tired of, you know, bargain shopping? You know, or you can't buy your VC because it's a hold on you because you ain't doing nothing to progress your money to buy VC. So now you got to look at VC and be like, fuck, man, I need some VC. You can't get it because you put more time into 2K then on your own life and now 2k is thriving and you not hey I, I would have never seen it like that but now i'm able to see it like that bro i can see it like that why would i put 20 hours on 2k just to upgrade my mind player bro and i'm out here struggling it for real but like i said when we don't see it like that we don't see it like that and i think these the type of conversation that the 2K community need to need to need to be aware of. Like, yeah, I, my player is nice, but what about your mind player in real life? Is that motherfucker nice? And if he ain't, then that means let's cut down on the hours that we play 2K. Let's go get that bag. Let's go get the help. You know. Turnover. Oh. Well, he okay. That little smart fucker. Man, my bad. I know I'm gonna miss this. That's a tough shot. Okay. I didn't play 2K 15 years ago. I didn't play 2K 15 years ago. Was building my business. Even when I played 2K, I'm using it in the front of two computer screens. That's what I'm saying, man. Just there. So, like. I just wasn't able to see it like this. That's that's my thing when I'm speaking on like the way I see things versus how I used to see things, man, it's so different. I'm like, damn. If I'm spending all my time on 2K, then if I'm playing 2K for 20 hours a day, then at what point am I learning? Oh man, I'm jacked up. Oh, I done fucked up bad. I done fucked up bad because now I'm I'm nice at 2K. But damn, I done missed out on all the real knowledge in the world. I ain't got no knowledge in the world because I done got my 2K shit right. So this shit right here should really be what it is. It's a hobby and nothing more. I'm going to shoot that. Okay. Is every place that I'm looking at stock market every time see and man like you know what I'm saying I ain't trying to tell nobody to jump into the stock but you feel me cuz you know like I said I ain't educated enough to be sharing that type of information but I like what you said bro he said every time he playing the game he's still uh, looking at other stuff cuz bro you really gotta focus on you man because yeah we having fun but once we cut this game off, you by yourself. Ain't none of us gonna be in your real life. You on your own. So you, yeah, we finished playing 2K. Now you gotta go back to whatever you was doing and ain't nobody there for you. So that's why I said now I play 2K five to seven hours a day, sometimes. But the average time I'm gonna play 2K is about five hours a day. I ain't really going over that unless I'm in a position to go over that. Good shot. Oh my goodness. He said, I feel you. I go to work and I make plays um, on the side. I still got some motion involved while I'm playing the game. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm talking about because it, it got to be like that, dog. It got to be like that. If not, we're going to get left behind, man. Good 
Good shot. Way to take it. They gave you a very early. I seen that. <laughs> Like I said, man, it's all about learning. Good shot. Wow, I hit the wrong icon. GG. He said, uh, right 2K is my release and my priority. Not my priority, but you still use it as second or even third. Yeah, that's why I said, sport, even if I make $2 off 2K, I'm winning. Because I figured it out. Everything I do now, my time is valuable. Get past. Even if I like, like I'm live streaming now, and let's just say number two people sub. Okay, I'm really I'm getting to be stress free because I'm doing one of my hobbies. But even I made a profit. I mean, it might be a low profit, but any profit is a plus. Yeah, that's another thing too. And see, I used to be afraid of the write-off shit because. Yeah, you hear people talking about write-off, but you don't really know about it unless you go study it and understand it. So now I do know, like I, I, I know about write-off, but now I, I know how to use it. I know how to do it now. I know how to do it now. Okay, this PS5 that I just bought, I know how to keep my receipt and make sure I get it to that lady when it's time for my taxes because I really used it for business. And that's one that and that's another thing, once again. Oh, hold on, I wrote it in my notes. Let me read this shit. This this shit fire right here. It said, um And this this shit this shit fire, dog. Let me read it. Alright. Don't trust it. Hey, it said, hold on. Good bucket. Ooh, good pass. Good pass. He said, the only thing that is better than knowledge is applied knowledge. Bro, when I heard that shit, I was like, oh, nigga, that's a bar. Because how many things do we know, but don't do it? The only thing that's better than knowledge is applied knowledge. And guess what? That's exactly what I was going through. I learned so much stuff, bro, but how much of it did I apply? Just like the write-off shit. I ain't apply that shit. I know about it, but I'm like, shit, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I know about it, but uh, now I, okay, I know I got to go give it to this lady. And she going to cover that into my expense. But, like I said, man, I, I don't, I'm not, this pitch. I just be trying to put us in a position when it comes, when I come to 2K, for the people that ain't on that yet to get on that. And guess what? Man, another thing, it's never too late, dog. Don't think you too old. Don't think, oh man, I'm 35. Oh, I'm 45. Oh, I'm 17. It's man, dog. They said you ain't too late. The best time. Oh, the best time to start with yesterday. The second best time is today. Good pass. So you ain't too late, man, to start changing and make make a change. Come on, 2K. Green. Oh, fuck. It's still. Good shot. He said, um, for whatever you spend a VC, you can write it off. He said, welcome back. Where you been or nothing? Yeah. Learning about the stuff I'm talking about now, but not just learning. I've been, I'm applying it. All right, there we go. When you get to a certain level, which is different for everyone, I highly suggest an extra CPA and a um, wealth manager. Right, right, right. And, and you know what's so crazy to what? I would actually listen to a video about that. Um, I'm going to shoot it whenever I get a moment. Wait, I got to find it. All right, there you go. I got it. 
Ah, fuck that dude. I was listening to um. I don't know who the guy was, but he was talking about. He was teaching about how people have financial managers, but they have percentages tied into it. If you know what I'm talking about. So, so a lot of people instead of having a flat rate on what they're paying these people to manage, they pay with a percentage. And paying with a percentage, you can be out of so much more money because you thinking, oh, I'm going to give him just 1%. But you have made $5 million based on these investments. And now that 1% is fucking hundreds of thousands of dollars. But you thinking it was just 1%. So I was learning about that too. You know, like if I ever was to get a manager, make sure we have an understanding on how am I compensating you. And I'm not compensating you through percentages. Because I don't want you to fucking become a millionaire off of balancing my money. Not saying you can't be paid for your for your work, but make sure we have an understanding that okay, we pay I pay you two thousand a month, you know. I don't pay you fucking one percent and now that one percent to turn into millions of dollars. Oh my goodness. And then like you know, I still don't know all the ins and out to that. I just I was listening to a little bit of it. I'm gonna try it. Okay. So I, I mean, I still gotta, cause I ain't there yet. I ain't, I ain't made it to that point where I need a financial manager. I think I. Oh my goodness. Great pass. What's the? I mean, when you dealing with that big money, <laughs> you know. He said, I want my guys to have an incentive to make me more money. He said, if it's a flat rate, which is, what is their incentive if they get, uh, okay. See, that's why, huh, so you got, you right. That's why I said, so, that'll be something that I'm just looking, I guess I'm preparing myself when I get to that point to where I need a financial manager. But uh, that's that's good to know though. I'm gonna write that down too. People who are making uh, I don't mind people who are making me money to make there at the same time. True, true. Especially if motherfucker doing doing some good work. But I think I guess in this sense he was talking about how this lady had got a financial advisor, and she said he asked her. Cause you know a lot of them dudes are scam, a scammers. Not all of them, but a good portion of them. Because I mean that's what they do. That's what they good at. Um. So she was like, I think I'm gonna be paying him around thirty thousand a year, and he ran the numbers for her, and it was like in the fucking hundreds of thousands. I think it was like three hundred thousand that she was gonna end up paying him, and she had no idea that's how much she was gonna be giving out. She thought she was gonna be spending around thirty thousand. And thirty thousand was really three hundred thousand. So it was like, you know, when you don't know about this shit, and you trying to go get help, and people know that you want to get help. Being a person that's in the need of help is being in a vulnerable spot. Huh? Okay. Oh yeah. Then. Okay, bet. That's that'll be that'll be good. That'll be a good little lesson. I uh, K, how many more you say you got in you? Cause, cause we out here kicking ass and taking names. We haven't lost yet, right? I don't think we took no L today. Been all ass kicking. And all ass kicking. He says, "What that you still here? You make a center yet? Come on, dirty bird. Well, I don't want this someone making uh commission in that position. I don't want them getting paid to push products. Right. Right. I can see how that would." Would be a thing. 
Hey, but you know, it's just like a lot of those sport players, like a lot of them, they have these financial advisors. And see, I know, I know an athlete that have a financial advisor or had when he was in, in the prime. And this dude invested all his money into things that would benefit him because you know you get the compensation and when he was ready to go invest in something that he liked he can do it because all his money was tied up into that dude receiving commission using his money and, and that's a real thing that's a real a lot of these sport players go through that you know we hear them talk about it all the time well they don't talk about it out loud but I, I know a couple dudes that you know I have seen people talk about it on the internet and I know some people that it actually happened to they go invest their money into some other shit and then they get paid on the back end from them other people like it's really be some co some cold shit out here my guy is actually a former uh, NFL quarterback uh, so you know he know then Cause he had to live it I don't think we lost no game though I'm happy to see you back big dog Appreciate that Jay Remember you from 2K20 